A recent survey has ranked the fast food corporate giant McDonald's as the worst in customer service and food quality. According to the nation's restaurant news, Mickey D's has been ranked 110th of 111 restaurants surveyed in customer service and food quality, ranking just above Chuck E. Cheese. And this has been having a drastic impact on its sales. According to reports, in 2015 alone, McDonald's has reported an 11% decline in sales and a 30% decline in profits, and is low in performance in China, the U.S., and Japan. In addition, Ronald McDonald is also suffering in its European market as well, and is still trying to bounce back after health concerns set off alarm bells in Asia earlier this year. This has recently forced McDonald's to close 350 stores, with another 350 to come in the next few months. The sad part of this reality is that these 350 stores were closed without the public, without the the employees knowing about it. They were just slashed right to be right then and there, and t everybody was told, "Hey, your job is no longer around." Capitalism. With at least 700 stores set to close, this is a having a tremendous impact on the company. This hemorrhage may have a lot to do with the poor food quality with McDonald's trying, uh, with McDonald's trying to put on a happy meal face to its customers by outright lying about what is in their products. Recently, McDonald's, as you may have seen, was trying to put out a PSA, a this these commercials that were trying to say oh we are changing our recipe we're doing you know you know our meat isn't you know as the horrible things that these people keep telling you which is just an outright lie it is not entirely known but not completely secret that the mcdonald's products are usually not safe for human consumption before they are actually cooked and presented to the public as Jamie Oliver and Medical Daily reports. These reports were not denied by McDonald's, who reportedly claimed that they were changing the recipe, but that is yet to be fully substantiated. Restaurant chain has historically treated their meat with ammonium hydroxide, an agent known to be in household cleaning products. And because this knowledge was leaked to the public, specifically in Europe and the United States, the restaurant chain may have been taking hits due to that. But it goes much further. The Golden Arches has the worst employee treatment rate of any store, refusing to pay for health benefits or, or pay their employees a livable wage. And despite, despite protests and the call by some states and even cities to, which is, to raise the minimum wage, which is required, by the way, by law, mandate, and city ordinance. With all these problems, McDonald's executives are blaming the decline of the franchise on rival Chipotle, which they say is eating into their profits as well as their increase in wages 10% to some 90,000 employees. Both are horrible excuses. However, maybe they should also have done the raising of wages when the company was on the up and up, rather than giving their execs higher pay increases while their workers were forced to live on beans and with their parents and relatives when the company was actually, you know, booming. Also, let me also point out an important note. While McDonald's struggles, and most likely will continue to struggle, California giant and fast food chain In-N-Out was ranked number one in the nation's restaurant news index as the average worker receives health care, $11 an hour, and the food is... Well, it's just fucking delectable. Their burgers are USDA prime cut, the fries are freshly cut and naturally made, and the milkshakes are actually made from real dairy and not processed crap. Maybe Mickey D's can learn from good old California business noticing that in order to compete in the capitalist market and keep your slave waiver and clientele happy, you need to pay your employees a livable wage uh, and health benefits, while also having a quality product to sell to the masses, as this increases the demand for, uh, for the product, demand for the work, and helps you expand and compete in the, that capitalist market. In addition, In-N-Out also has a simple menu that has remained steadily priced since its inception in the 1990s. 
While McDonald's has had a maze of breakfast and primary food choices that have failed to catch and keep their customers' attention, this has caused the dollar menu to be, well, devalued, which, with much of the $1 crap being you, one nineteen one dollar nineteen cents U.S. or higher, and the reintroduction of a quality $5 burger. But the last time they did try that, it was too expensive for their low-income customers, and it drove them away rather than towards it. And they're more, you know, their customers that happen to be able to bring in that money basically would not e dare to even set foot in there as, as their food is, well, it's absolute shit. Or possibly made from it, either way. Like, try the new cow, cow patty. Yeah, that sounds fucking delectable. It should not be surprising, then, that the lack of sales may not be helped by an alleged new policy suggesting that the chain bars its employees and its customers from feeding the homeless, even if they are giving them their business. And it doesn't stop there. McDonald's now thinks itself to be a real Abercrombie & Fitch or H&M sort of place by discriminating against its customers who look homeless. This rumor comes from after an 827-year-old British landscaper was almost denied service because his clothes looked packy. Well, forgive working stiff for not having the time in his lengthy 30-minute lunch break, some less than that, to freshen the fuck up for you bourgeois fucks. Some of us working class people don't have the luxury of looking like jolly old Willie over there. Some of us look and dress like Russell Brand because we can't afford anything else. Get over it. Whether the incident is true or not, or the policy is true or not, what your employees do with their money and their food is their business. What your customers, you know, your clientele who give their business to you, do with their money and food is their business. You know, you don't get to be God and dictate what people do with their money if they are giving it, to, uh, giving while well, their time and money to you. If you want to help a po poverty-stricken person out, that is their fucking prerogative. If they want to fucking do it, they're gonna do it. But of course, that's just evil socialist thought to give someone a st who's starving to death a burger to such a corporate fucking shill of capitalism like McDonald's. At least the homeless can always hang around in and out though, because we Californians may be a little snooty, but we hate to see a fellow Californian struggle. Hell, we're in a drought after all, we need to help everybody out. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace. Watch me